Hi. Uh, for this interview, I invited Mutiana Pilipinas Asia Pacific International 2017. She went on to represent the country in Miss Asia Pacific International 2017 and placed fourth runner up. She's a model both um, here and in Cebu, her hometown, and uh, she travels around the world. Um, let's get to know more about Aileen Astrid de Vera. Hi, Derek. I'm great. Thank you for asking. Um, ano, I can do it. So, Eileen, para lang sa benefit ng mga viewers, hindi naman kasi lahat nakaka-update, di ba? Uh, ikwento mo naman sa amin paano ka nagsimula sa pageant 3. Okay, so, mga ba? Mga ba ito siya na sa pageant? Go lang, go lang, go lang. Yeah, um, I joined my first ever national team. 2017, year 2017. At that point, pinimbitahan lang po ako the late mom Jonah. Versus, versus, yes. Ito po nga siya sa akin nung one afternoon. I was still in my office, I was working out. Sabi niya, busy ka ba? Hindi mo na siya. Hindi <laughs> naman, napende. Bakit? Sabi niya, um, ano, join tayo ng pageant. Sabi ko, ano yung pageant yan? Sabi niya, oh. mutya, ano yung pagkina? Sabi ko, ah, tapos, alam ko na yung mutya ng pagkina sa mga pageant. Uh, but like, I never expected that kind of conversation time. <laughs> and I was like, I was game for it. I'm actually a person who invited me on a campaign. Right oh. away, I will say uh, yes or no. Or like most likely, I will say yes because I'm always you know, that kind of person. Lagging alat darin yaman. Ano? Tapos sabi ni mami ko na ah kanu ko pala sa kanya. Kailan ba yan? Yeah. Sabi niya in two weeks na. Two weeks? Ready pa ako? Oh, sabi ko, ready pa ako na. Sure ka na ba na ako yung mag-recognize na si Mami? Sabi niya, oo, oh, oh, kasi ano, wala silang nahanap dito. So, parang handpick na. I feel special naman ko. So, I said, sige, I was willing to uh, do that. And 
Yun pa lang at that time, wala, wala, wala talaga akong experience na pageant. Be it local pageant. Because uh-huh. before, I, a month before that, I was supposed to join Miss Mandawe. That's the local pageant. Here in Cebu. Sana ito try mo muna yung local. Local sana muna. Actually, na, naka-screening ako, nakapasok ako, like sa final list. Mm-hmm. That time lang talaga, I was in a relationship. And mm-hmm. um, I didn't tell my girlfriend about it. I, I screamed for the budget or anything. Because nung final lang nga, na uh, kasali ako doon, uh, sabi niya, huwag kang mag-join. Uh, okay, sinunod ko lang naman. So, kasi yun sa akin din, at that time, I was not confident. Uh, okay. Okay. If he would uh, allow me, parang makakaboost din mo sa akin. Okay, parang I just didn't take it seriously. Oh, yun. I was able to join a month after. Yan, kasi nag-break ko pa yun. It looks like as I heard na I, I will join the collect na kasi I have to watch it up. Yeah, you know, I really wanted to try pageant because my after my life, I was used to, I used to, or like my family, used to watch mga Pilipin movies. I would always um, pick a candidate who would win uh, eventually. So, my, my, I don't think that would be I don't know if that would be Like, I know how to spot the winner. <laughs> Ah, okay. Pero ikaw, yung sarili mo, hindi mo nakita. <laughs> yeah, at that time, I was like, yeah. Alam na ako nung nag-expect talaga. Kaya kasi ako experience. When, when that time come, na start na yung budget, dito ko na ako, ito pwede. At nating ako, mas in time na may photo shoot. As in like, kapapos na yung photo shoot na rin. Ako nang last dumating, hinintay lang talaga siya. Oh my God, na-late pa ako. <laughs> I was not sure talaga, but I was uh, handled by people. Ah, uh, uh, yes. And yeah, um, he was very warm and welcoming me. I I just didn't feel any pressure lang din. I was just breathing. Oh. Hindi, tsaka, tsaka Aileen, di ba? I think uh, model ka na dati sa Cebu eh. Di ba? You're a member of MAC, di ba? So, kumbaga, yeah. siguro yung line, line of thinking mo nun, hindi ko na kailangan. Total lang din dito nang established na ako sa model in Cebu, di ba? And you belong to that uh, association na kilala. Kilala yan sa Cebu eh, yung MAC, no? Siguro, that, uh, that was able to uh, inspire me that I'm going to join Because I know how to do it. Before, before joining pageant, I thought modeling rock is also pageant. So oh. that gave me a boost of confidence. But I think that I learned that when I like, when the pageant was already performing, I said they would, they would give me tips and advice. Um, uh, right before you know, a show happens, for example, national costume or evening gown, they would tell me tips that if you can get a new thing, what is it? So I had to like learn it during the process. Mm. So that was a very funny experience. So ayun nga, Aileen, di ba? First try mo sa pageantry was a national pageant agad, mutihan ng Pilipinas. Tapos nanalo ka pa ng top title, which is Mutia ng Pilipinas Asia Pacific International 2017, no? Ano yung feeling ng winning the title na top title pa, di ba? In your first try in a pageant, more so a national pageant. Ano yung naramdaman mo? Ano yung what was the feeling? To be honest, uh, Derek, when my name was called as the top like, winner, I was, I, I wanted to win, but I wanted to win the title of top model in the world. Oh, oh. When I was one of the tallest girls. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and then, kasi yung, 
title na yun, the winner, at nawagin ko for the meeting. So, kung hindi mm. ko na yung winner for that, so, who's my friend also? Si Hannah. Okay. Si Hannah. Uh, uh. So, 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 crush ko na na. Yes. Like, this is so great. Shalom ba? Hindi mo pa naisip yun. Good time na yun. Hindi lang yan kasi ano din po. Um, the pageant is going to be held. I want to do that. Mas gusto mo yun. Oo. I was unassuming talaga. Um, when I was called as the winner, parang yung mukha ko pa nga sa pictures. Meron kasi na nakuha na kasi yung mukha ko. Hmm. Hmm. Ako ba talaga? Sure ba kayo na ako? Pero, I was very happy at that time. Parang, there was just a point. Pero hindi ko, pero na-overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, I won this. After like, um, not, you know, not having enough training, parang, hindi na agad-agad. Hindi nga ako na, fun fact, hindi po ako nasa sa kapatid ko about joining me there. He just found out when the pageant started. Kasi, oh. meron na kasi mga social media groups na ayaw sa buwa ko na play by the veteran. Hindi ko na kasi yung mga game. I was scared to tell them about hindi nila ako sa pageant. Pero, turns out na they were really supported by the pageant. And, and they're still so happy. Alam mo, Eileen, the reason why I asked that, kasi diba judge ako nun, nung mutya nyo, diba? I was one of the judges. I was one of the, oh, nanonood lang kami, mag-judge kami, tapos yung mga nagtitrain sa inyo, hindi naman sila talaga ang nasa entablado. Ang tinatanong ko, yung point of view ninyo, how was it? Diba yung paano ba ano yung nararamdaman ba talaga when you're there tinawag yung pangalan mo ano yung ano yung immediate rush ano yung nararamdaman mo immediate rush yeah, direct immediately parang hindi ko siya nilit kaya yung pangalan after lang siguro yung mga nung nagtrao na at kanina sa doon pa lang Ah, nanalo ako. Ako nanalo ako. Ah, so may ganun talagang feeling kapag nanasag. Kasi with the lights and everything, the pressure and everything, di ba? Pagod pa, like the whole day, you're just at the venue, you're just at the venue, you're just at the venue, you're just at the venue. Ako at that time, I was just, um, I was just, my, my goal was to answer a question that was to the venue. Bahala oh, oh, oh. niya. Tapos ko lang yung araw na ito. Okay na. So, with that kind of mindset, I wasn't like, So, mo lang talaga, tinapos, tinapos mo na lang ng matiwasay. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Yung parang, I just wanted to feel na uh, accomplished for that event. Pero like, so much more was, you know, given to me that night. Ano pala talaga yung pinadhana? <laughs> Oo, oh, 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 yun, that's really fate, no? Tapos ay hindi di ba, no? when, when you won Mucha ng hey, Mucha Pilipina, Mucha Pilipina sa Asia Pacific International, of course, nirepresent mo kami sa Miss Asia Pacific International. Ngayon, ang tanong ko lang, tapos fourth runner-up ka pa, di ba? Eventually, nag fourth runner-up ka pa. Ang tanong ko lang is, kumusta competing with women from different countries at the same time, ano yung feeling mo bilang host? Kasi ang problema nun, host ka pa, hindi ka lang contestant, host ka pa. Kung baga you have to to take care of the rest, di ba? Kasi ikaw yung taga-bansa eh, di ba? Ikaw yung taga dito. So how was it? Uh, how was it nung dealing with uh, girls from different countries and paano ka bilang host? Okay, so this is the Pacific International Party Summit after three months after I was crowned. So I don't know if that's enough time because like these days, the girls are not bad enough for like one week, right? So like during that time, I didn't have like a previous experience in pageant. Only the most national. 
Uh, 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 uh. I, I did not know what to expect um, in, in terms of you know meeting the international um, delegates. Delegates. So, so. Uh, uh, in Aden, what's good about me? I'm a very sociable person. Mm, I like to mm. talk to people. I like to uh, appreciate the community. Mm. Really who I am. So. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know like who, which countries were kind of part of this international. No, I was lucky enough then um, when I got to meet them eventually because they knew me even before mm-hmm. like I knew their name. But I got to meet them in the Philippines. Um, I know it felt good. Uh, and um, know, some people would think that there's a lot of pressure on them. Mm. At that time, I felt na okay. Na, oh, yes, you know. In enjoy mo na lang siguro, no? Kasi dagdag pressure yun na host ka, eh. Di ba? Dagdag pressure yun, Aileen, eh. You're in the home country. Oh, actually, there were points in the, in the project that I really felt pressure because like, uh, first, the staff or the production team that we were mm-hmm. working with is the same as we had. So, uh-huh. uh, oh my gosh, they know me already. So they can, and they can easily talk to me in our native language, in our you know, national language. So, Well, yun, they were, they were lagi nila ako kung nasa ako sa mga pag-uwin, kung nasa ako sa mga pag-uwin. So, yun talaga nakasakreso. But yung know, representing the Philippines wasn't that much pressure compared to me. Kasi, I feel pride. I feel more pride than pressure. That um, that's positive, no? Hindi, <laughs> tsaka, although, tanoy ko din, hindi kasi pare-pareho ng ugali, tapos hindi pa mga Pinay, di ba? Wala namang naging bad na candidate sa experience mo doon sa Miss Asia Pacific International? Actually, wala naman in my uh, own experience. Pero I heard there were like instances with some other countries. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially yung mga mag-lati. Oo, oo, oo. Hindi ko ba sa ano nila, culture yun. Oh, totoo. And then, tsaka Aileen, knowing you, ilang taon na kitang kilala, hindi ka yung tipong ano eh, hindi ka yung tipong mga ah, why? Hindi ka yung tipong sasali sa intriga. You would rather smile. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm, I'm on a very much more I've been um I've been raised I I'm raised by a single mom and then so that experience of mine led me to be independent. So I I learned things pretty well, like, even way more advanced than my years. And I also like to hang out with older older people. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think that kind of training helped me a lot in uh, joining pageants, especially you know, that international pageants. I was able to, uh, you know, uh, talk to these girls and get to know them and you know, enjoy the process. Siguro, siguro ay din malaking factor din na graduate ka na that time, nag-work ka na malaking bagay maturity kahit pa paano diba? that helped you through now, ang tanong ko lang Aileen, hindi sumali ka ng Mutia, sumali ka ng Miss Asia Pacific, ano ang lessons na nag-learn mo from these pageants? Anything na life-changing, anything na nabago sa buhay mo um, before you joined? Siyempre, I'm sure may expose ka, marami ka may kilala. So, what lessons did you learn and is there any life-changing event na nabago sa buhay mo? Hmm, I think I would rather use the terms for my opening experience. Mm. So, um, um, really life changes like constantly. Like in every uh, phase you are in your life, 
Um, but eye-opening kasi like, for me, it's parang feeling siya. Eh. Like, it happens like, on certain events, like, joining the patch. So, ano, ang dami kong learning tracks na direct. Kinundilis na ko sila para hindi ko makalimutin. <laughs> but like, dilis na ko yung um, the best learning that I learned. First, ano, be brave. Actually, this is a quote from Paulo Coelho. Okay. And, um, this quote, quote is actually we got that title like during my fourth year uh, in high school. College. High school, okay. High school. Ano siya yung Kala mo yung mga classroom natin may mga ano, nakapaskil na ng quotes. Oo, oh, oh, siya. Oo, oh, kahit saan. Oo. <laughs> so, oh, ito talaga yung quote na hindi ko makalimutan and I live by it. And it goes, be great, take risks because nothing can substitute the end. At least, di ba, you have that that guiding principle na sinusunod mo. So, ano pa? Ano pa yung meron kang learnings? Ayun. Um, also, uh, joining pageants are not, it's not an easy task. Of course. Yeah, and some people who have no idea about what's going on in the pageant mm-hmm. or in the pageant Parang they would just easily uh, say something that, you know, that would hurt. Because it's really, um, parang siya sa mga matatagin ng action. Because it will always be criticized. And, you know, if we don't, if we have a faint heart, we have to emotionally and mentally. So you have to be strong. Um, you have to have your support people always hmm. back to you up. You have to have like, your closest friends. You don't need to have a lot of friends. You just need to have like, your real friends. They would always support you. They would um, give you constructive criticism. They would not only you know, tell you something bad. Or, you know, they won't let mm-hmm. you develop it. And yeah, um, pageantry, like other great things don't come easy. So you really have to put in hard work and focus on your goal. And Actually, hard work talaga, no? Hard work yan eh. Oh. So they don't know what's happening. Like a lot of people don't know what's happening. Dito at dito, diba? Uh, so I, I really look up to especially higher higher rank have a lot of pressure out there um, uh, everyday lives especially those who are really uh-huh. they have to carry the so, uh, it's a lot of work to the next and if you don't have the heart uh, in doing that kind of work I don't see uh, I don't see the pageantry as a as a sport thing. Oh. Ano talaga? You have to have your passion. Actually, yun ang sinasabi ko rin, Aileen, yung, yung sasali sa ganyan, kailangan talaga yung puso niya ng dudoon. Hindi pa pwedeng half-baked eh. Hindi pa pwede. Hindi pwedeng bubu-bubu na. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. Ano pa? Ano pa ang mga learnings mo? Ano pa ang mga learnings mo? Ha? Di ba nabudol na po? Like, somehow, nabudol na po. Like, you join me to that. Like, Papano? I was, I was just called by my goodness. Pero like, inside, I didn't know that. Which was a good thing. Oh. Pero like, it's not really like, Google, like, whole Google talaga. Kasi I really need it. Like, <laughs> I could say, able to explain it. Oo, oh, oh, sige, sige. Oo, oh, 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 sige. So, ano pa? Any other thing that you want to share? I have two more. Um, one, one is, ano, failure does not mean you know, if you learn something. Ah. Yeah, they definitely still I have the same mantra. So kailangan talaga go lang ng go, di ba sa buhay, di ba? Yes, because failure is part of it. Just always be like that. Kasi parang yung 
be able to learn how is it like not not you like not happy with you when you get in the title when you lost so much like investing in it financially financially like a uh, like not a lot of people know but it's very expensive and you really have to prepare um yourself uh, financially because you can't be working as far as I know you can't have a nine-to-five job uh, back when mm. the pageants happened, were happening pre-pandemic you can't have mm. a job that's nine-to-five because you have to commit to sign a contract before you join before you have a question so you have to have some fun that you can while you don't have to that's a very challenging thing not a lot of things to do so I oh, think that, yeah this would uh, this information will get to that you know how to prepare the financial <laughs> oh kailangan oh, last ano pang iyo pang lesson share it to us Aileen so yung last this is the most important thing um It's, it's to make every moment because for me ha, in, in life uh, direct, we're not promised to know so you better enjoy everything that is happening to you right now because nothing is permanent <laughs> you're you're really high well we will maybe stay with you you're, there will be other things coming after you so like may nananala na bago so parang every year that happens parang you only have that one chance or one year to look mm-hmm. or like to showcase to people na what your talents are what you can do for the organization mm-hmm. you have to always have it in mind na you're gonna do your best and you're gonna work hard kasi Work hard talaga, ethics talaga in um, a hard work uh, is very important. Mm-hmm. I'm very lucky to learn that at a very young age. Kasi, ano, when you learn it from a young age, madadala mo na yun. Ay, oh, hanggang pagtanda. Oo, oh, daladala mo yan. Uh, and then, your life is not only in you You will always have, there, there will always be a time <laughs> kailangan mo mag-venture out into another industry or like focus on another thing. So, you will always use that kind of uh, professionalism and mm-hmm. in that other thing. So, pupunta tayo ngayon sa next kong question. Kasi sabi mo, yung move on to another path, di ba? Parang ganun, di ba? So, after nung, nana, after kang nag, nag, ano ng crown mo, nag-turn over. Um, do, nagkaroon ka ng mga trabaho dito sa Metro Manila, eh, di ba? Nag-model ka, and then you even went to do Avon, di ba? So, uh, do you think yung, yung pagkapanalo mo sa pageant, experience mo dyan sa Miss Asia Pacific International, was a big boost to your confidence to make it better here in Metro Manila? Definitely, uh, because all my modeling experience before joining the mm-hmm. was focused in fashion modeling, runway modeling, in mm-hmm. So I did not have any experience about Manila modeling. So when I won, I was lucky enough to know a lot of people in the industry and my name mm-hmm. out there. So I got booked um, at the fashion shows that I would mm-hmm. just you know, see on social media before. Oh, I want to be part of this. I want to uh, walk, walk with this designer. I want to be on a commercial um, shoot or like I want to model something. So I was able to achieve that with the help of the women. I say like, with, of course, with your help in the next, I was able to uh, meet a lot of uh, good people like Tito Jinkoo. Ah, for like, like, yes. Yeah, for 
Hindi Aileen, ganito ganito kasi yan. Kikwento ko lang sa iyo ha. Di ba ginudge uh-huh. kita sa mutya? I already saw the sunny personality. E ako naman, gusto ko yung mga nakatrabaho ko. Yung madaling katrabaho, yung yung hindi maarte, yung hindi hindi diva. Di ba? Despite the title, hindi ka nagpaka-diva. At the same time, nakita ko na yung pumasa ka naman. Pumasa ka eh. You were chosen by Avon eh. When I submitted your picture to Jinky, di ba? And then here came Jinky. Sinabi niya nga na ikaw yung napili. Ibig sabihin, there's really something, di ba? Eh, ang, ako ay ang tingin ko dyan, Aileen, yung sunny personality mo adds to it. Yung happy disposition mo, yung positive ano mo, energy mo, it adds to it. Even until now, yun ang tinawagan niya rito regarding this interview, di ba? Ang bilis mo rin sumagot, di ba? Hindi, kumbaga, people out there, no, I just want to tell the story that Eileen De Vera is not a hard person. Hindi mahirap ka usap ito. Kaya nakita niyo, na-interview ko siya. Two, three days lang na notice, di ba? Uh, although nakakwarantin siya ngayon, sadly. Pero matatapos na naman eh. Di ba? At paalis na po siya. Mamaya tatakil natin yung Canada niya. Pero ngayon, Aileen, uh, kasi I remember nag-work ka pa sa, ano, sa Cambodia, di ba? Sa Naga World, no? I mean, kumusta experience mo? It was your first time to work abroad, no? It was your first time? It was my first time. Kumusta experience mo? Kasi marami daw ang Pilipinang kilala na nag-work doon. Yan sila, Emma Tiglaw, di ba? Yan. Tapos ikaw nga yung next ko na kilala. O oh, sabi ko, uh, gusto ko lang malaman. Kasi kaibigan ko naman yung si Romir, no? Liboon. But I, of course, si Romir siya yung nag-recruit ako naman eh. Kaibigan ni Romir, nagtatanong-tanong. Pero how is it first-hand information? How was it uh, working in Cambodia? Okay, so this part of my, this phase of my life is really parang ito siya, life changing. Um, kasi I never expected myself to do that kind of thing. Um, I work a lot as a young man. Mm-hmm. Kasi at that time, uh, I, I was big. Ano yun, after being with Nicole? Mm-hmm. Actually, it was after they did, they invited me to work for uh, Magnolia. Mm-hmm. And at that time, parang part of the talk, yung binibili niya. So, ah, okay. Ay, ah, yun, 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 yun. Kaya hindi ko na tinanong, hindi ka naman tila binigyan ng title eh. <laughs> Okay lang, but that was really my dream that I'm being part of it. Because I'm like, I was happy like eventually. Pero after the pageant, I was happy. Oh my gosh, I was like, 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 I was I would say. And I wanted to do something that would distract me or um, take me mm-hmm. home. Um, the pain that I'm just feeling. So, when they invited me, Peter Rajit was like, uh, don't you want to apply for this? Okay, okay, okay. Because it's not a long term contract. It's not a long term contract. But if you are um, renewed, if your contract is renewed, uh, most likely it will be staying for a year or a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. So that was my, I, that was what I was thinking about. I'd go there, I'd come back to the whole thing on, and we were um, already two years together. And I told him about my plan. Pero, I didn't mind it. Pero, I, I did not feel that he was happy about my plan. Typical. Mm-hmm. Um, Typical, typical. Oo, pero hindi ko yung sinabi sa'yo, parang ramdam ko lang talaga. Kasi, ano, parang, I don't know, feelings, parang yung instinct mo never betrayed. Oo naman, totoo yan, totoo yan. Mararamdaman mo yun eh, diba? Mararamdaman mo. Kasi tao naman yan, parang diba? We all have this feeling of need. Or you get this one. <laughs> anyway, so when I when I wanted to do that, uh, 
and we shall support the future. We still did it. I flew to Cambodia October 2019 or November 2019 before mm -hmm. pandemic. Pandemic. Uh, yeah, I was the last ambassador that the that the hotel hired. Oh. Kapas na kasabay ko po si Sir Romir sa life. Kasi he came from this international project. It happened in Japan. Uh, uh, Connected to Manila. And then we went to Manila. Okay, where yung time ng naman ko? <laughs> Parang kasabay ko siya sa life ko po po po. So I felt safe somehow. Kasama po yung ano po boss ko. Sa sila ito. Mm -hmm. Kasi I, I thought na ako lang sorry. Oh my gosh, you know, ano, 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 ano mag-welcome sa akin? Hindi ko naman, wala pa, hindi pa ako nakapunta. So, wala kang idea, wala kang ano, wala. So, like, when I found out when he was flying, how often, I felt safe, I felt empowered. I felt that Cambodia is a, was a good decision. So, good, good. Yeah, and then, ano, um, the next, so I was working, working, working. Then pandemic happened, right? We were still working, actually. Pero they reduced our working time. Kasi we didn't have any guests. Like, we didn't have much guests. We didn't close yung mga borders. We couldn't, like, post or welcome anyone. So, like, we were not the pandemic. And then eventually, we were third time. <laughs> Oh. That was around me. So around oh. me, that would have been like the end of my contract. But before they ended my contract, I heard news that they they were planning to renew. Because we only left there. So we only left there. So we only there. So we only left 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 so yeah, there's a lot of entrances to plan. Then one, the work. Um, that time when I heard the uh, terminate, and this is the like, ito ba yun? Parang slowly kasi nakasulong na, na OMG. Kami na next nito. Kasi um, ni isa ay kanila na terminate. Oh. And with the nature of our job, ano lang kasi siya, parang kalamot mo lang kami sa hotel. Hindi, tsaka here. ano, di ba, Aileen, depende yan sa turista din kasi kung may dumarating, di ba? Eh, wala, di ba? Okay. Oo. Oh, oh. The hotel was housing us, pa, uh, providing us. Mm, so, mm, mm. Mm. Parang, hindi na nila kaya. And then they didn't know the future uh, that was coming. So they decided to terminate us, and we were part of OWA. That's an organization. Oh, OWA, yes. Um, our flights were covered. We were um, we were booked uh repatriation flights. Ah, so na part ka ng repatriation flight from Cambodia. Part kami yung mga na terminate. But I decided, personally, I said, I told my family I would not be home to the family because I am scared to go home. Mas nakakatakot dito. Oo, ang laro ko kung ganyan ka. Tapos, parang ang gulo-gulo lang nangyayari sa akin. Eh, ang gulo ko sa mga gulo at that time, parang okay lang naman dito. Parang mas nakapaginawa kami dito. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Parang I'll be safer here and I will maybe put off on the stress if I stay here. I'll just find a job, but um, I was just praying for it to like I will find a job. Because I gave myself a deadline. And if I don't find a job in two weeks or one month, I'll be alone. Because I don't have family there, but I was taking that day breaks. <laughs> Oh, diba? Tsaka kung ano, kung ano mangyari, ikaw lang mag-isa, di ba? Kasi oh. nga, nangyari din kami na we decided to stay. Pero, you know, parang, I just know these people who were, I didn't, didn't have that big in the lunch class. 
you know, living in a new country. Mm. Actually, 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 Ayudlin, when I saw you arrive from Cambodia, nalungkot ako. Sabi ko na ko nasama na si Aileen dun sa mga biktima rin ng COVID, di ba? Kasi because of COVID yan eh, di ba? Sabi ko sa parang masaya pa naman kasi I see your posts, no? Mukhang masaya ka sa mga ginagawa mo dun despite you being alone, away from your family. Parang mukhang, mukhang masaya eh. Alam ko naman kasi nakapunta na rin ako ng Cambodia. Maganda kasi ang atmosphere sa Phnom Penh. Di ba? Oh, maganda. Gusto kong atmosphere doon. Sabi ko nga, sabi ko nga nung time na yun, pwede akong mabuhay dito. Pwede akong mabuhay sa Phnom Penh. Oo. Sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni Romir noon, hindi ka nagparamdam. Sabi nga ganun. Eh kasi sabi ko, two days lang kami ng mga kaibigan ko. Ayoko na lang. Ayaw na kitang disturbohin Romir. Sabi niya, ay, basta direct ha, pagka pupunta ka ha, huwag kang makakalimot magparamdam, gano'n-gano'n. So, I was this, I was medyo sad. Kasi alam mo naman, wala akong naging problema sa iyo, Aileen, eh. Kaya ako naman, pag ang modelo sa akin, wala naging problema. Meron akong, ano, meron attachment, di ba? So, nung when I saw you, when I saw you come back, nalungkot ako. Kasi sabi ko, ay, saya, masaya pa naman si Aileen doon. Mukhang masaya siya sa kumao. Oo. Oh. Ano, malungkot pa ako nung I left my last year around Christmas mm. kasi ano siya, sobrang unexpected in the way na mm. my work contract for my second work kasi I was able to find work and that mm. was there for another mm. six months. And um, yeah, that time, kasi nung determined ko lang kami. My family is a family. My family is a family. Don't you want to come here? Just to come here. They gave me that opportunity. So at that time, I said, I'll keep that in mind, but let me think if I really want to take it. Like, I just want to take this time here in the building to explore first. And then I will let you know if I decide it. So six months mm-hmm. later, around November last year, I, I decided to do it. I will Uwe. follow my family, uh, follow my family uh, advice. Mm. I will apply for student visa. And hopefully, so, um, move to Canada. So, ito na nga. Ito na nga, di ba? Soon, okay. s- soon, you're embarking on a trip to Canada to fulfill yung, mapagbigyan mo rin yung family mo, di ba? But, pero ang napansin ko lang, Itong, ito itong since nakilala kita hanggang ngayon na ini-interview kita you seem to be cut to work or live abroad no? Uh, part ba ito ng pangarap mo yung mag, mag-work at tumira sa abroad part ba yung sistema mo na si Aileen De Vera eventually titira sa abroad eh part ba yan ang nasa isip mo um, earlier um kasi recent lang siguro ko na after my experience in Cambodia, parang I was there when I realized na I, I don't want to go back to Cambodia. Parang I feel more happy, happier na I have this freedom to be on my own, to be more independent. Mm-hmm. I feel more alive. Actually, my family knows that. They're, I'm really happy na supporting this. Kasi, I, I will not do this um, big change in my life. I can't do that. But they're the ones who's really pushing for me to go abroad. You know, parang they see na I'm happier there. Parang, you know, I'm happy. Very early there, ha? And my girl, yung kabataan ko. I did not see myself working. Parang, I had a different mindset. Um, study, graduate, work. Tabaho. Mag-asawa na dito. <laughs> Typical. Typical. Oh. Pero so itong, ito, Aileen, itong pageantry mo, itong pagsali mo, nakapagbukas ng maraming ano sa'yo, maraming realizations na, you know, you, you can do it anywhere. Di ba? Yes, and I can achieve anything. Oh, oh. I, I work hard for it. I really, I really know that I want it. 
<laughs> Tapos ayun din tao sa pansin ko din, uh, ano, yung bang, hindi ba nakita ko nagpupunta ka ng Hong Kong? Oh, but, that was even before, no? Before you joined Mutya. Di ba? Nag-abroad ka na. So, doon ko napansin. Sabi ko, si Aileen mahilig din palang bumiyahe. Parang ako din, mahilig ako maglakwatsa sa ibang bansa. So, nakita ko yung mga Singapore mo, yung Japan. Sabi ko, kaya tinanong ko ito na na isa tingin mo ba your cut out to live or work abroad kasi nakita ko madami ka nang napuntahan eh pero kumbaga in a way late bloomer ka rin pala pagdating sa travel no dito na lang no? na adult ka na working ka na first time my first time riding an airplane direct I was 18 years old oh okay saan ka pumunta saan ka pumunta no ay subo to manila lang parang yun ito yun sa, um, and I was oh. um, I was booked for Ryan uh, Paris Santiago's model one of his models na mm-hmm. uh, parang manikin lang <laughs> ah <laughs> ay nakita ko nga nag-ano ka rin kay Kari rumarampa ka din sa kanya di ba nag-ano ka rin pictorials <laughs> ganun talaga 2021 na <laughs> <laughs> Aileen, ano, isa sa point ng buhay mong ito, ano sa tingin, meron ka pa bang fervent wish na gustong to pa rin? Ah, wish. Ano yung show wish? Um, parang goal. Goal, yeah, I goal. I told myself for... Before reaching my 20s, I myself, the first half of my 20s, I'm going to go and um, enjoy, you know, do experiences, I'm going to try everything that I want. But when, it, when the time comes now, I'm approaching my second half of my 20s, and that's the time I will invest in more, in more longer term <laughs> plan. So this okay. is part of it. Um, this is studying. Um, parang na timing lang din talaga siya. I was, alam ko ba yung term manifest direct. Oh, hindi, tsaka ano yan, I think it's really your faith, no? Na ganyan ang mangyari, maganda ang taakin mo. And sometimes you just cannot you just cannot do something about it. Kasi yun talaga nakatadahan ng mangyari. Pero humanda ka lang sa lamig sa Canada. Ano, <laughs> sabi ko sa family ko direct, parang they were asking me, oh, already ka na ba excited ka lang ba? Sabi ko, okay naman ako, pero yung winter lang talaga yung problema. Oh. Kasi nangin ako direct. Oh my gosh, what am I getting? <laughs> sa untari, sa untari ka pa naman pupunta, eh malala din doon ang lamig. Mm. Imagine, imagine Aileen from Cebu na tropical ang climate tapos pupunta ka sa Canada. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I will pray for your success in Canada but oh, siyempre, always keep in touch. Hindi no? mo pwede hindi. <laughs> so Aileen, ano, um, marami nanonood nyo yun. No? May mga nanonood dito na mga bagets, may mga women of your age na gusto rin itry yung sinubukan mo. Anong ma-advise mo sa kanila? Siguro, uh, my advice to uh, girls and you know, ladies out there who want to try a gym in their mm-hmm. life, ano, important talaga na you educate yourself. Finish school first. Kasi pageantry will always be there. No, oh, madali lang yun. Yeah, like if you finish school and everything, wala ka nang kukubunahin, wala ka nang babalik. And then that will be an edge for you. Because if you're able to earn that degree, and that degree is something uh, it's an achievement that you can be mm-hmm. proud of if you share when you're joining the budget. And yeah, um, always be open to new experiences. Mm-hmm. Be flexible in your approach. Because not everything that you plan will go out, like, will go as planned. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Along the way. So, ano, um, just have a positive mindset. Always take care of your mental health. Because they're important, especially in this uh, pandemic. 
Oo, in the pan- especially sa pandemic. Kaya uh, kasi very less kaya sa mga nangyayari sa uh, mundo. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, buting sa Pilipinas lang. We have to, you know, and uh, learn how to take a break. Um, always, don't take everything to social media. Mm-hmm. Have some time uh, you're off social media or less than your time on social media because it's not healthy. And mm-hmm. I think yeah, that's one of the most important things. Tsaka, tsaka Aileen, di ba? Hindi lang ito puro ganda. Di ba? Hindi lang ito puro ganda. Everything, total package, yung pagkatao, yung puso mo, yung utak mo, kailangan kompleto yan. It's a total package, sabi ko nga. So, hindi lang ito, naharap ka dyan, yun na yun. No, di ba Aileen? If you only know yung pinagdaan. At saka yes. yung pinagdaanan mo mismo, di ba? Na ang dami, may mga bashers, hindi mo naman mapiplease lahat, di ba? May mga hindi rin, dis, hindi rin mag-agree sa'yo. So, sabi nga ni Aileen, do not, do not rely on social media so much. Kasi yes. sasama lang ang loob ninyo. Di ba? Sasama lang. Aileen, for my last question. From Cebu to the world. Ano ang mission ni Aileen De Vera sa buhay? <laughs> Actually, I've been asked this before. This question. my my message to the world. Um, I think I know that I I live to inspire other people with my story because my story is unique and it's not perfect at all, like everybody else. Mm-hmm. I. The behind the glamour that is on social media or like on TV or behind the achievements that I, uh, you know, got, parang I really had struggles, challenges, face them. And parang if you're able to go through that, your journey or your success will become more worth it or more meaningful. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I did inspire people. I started that, and then with my students, I just want other people inspired. Ano mga ginawa ko sa life ko kasi it was not a um a perfect story. So like it, I didn't start um you know something now or someone new. I had it all. I I had my own fair share of challenge. Hmm. Naku, Aileen, thank you. I know that you are already preparing for your trip to Canada. Although, uh, nag- nagkaroon ka lang ng, ano to, ng quarantine ngayon until the 13th or 14th. Pero everything's okay, I'm sure. Uh, thank you. Inagapan talaga kita before you leave. Kasi alam ko kasi na magkaiba tayo ng time zone. So, mahihirapan tayo mag- mag-schedule. Ano, ang tao. Kaya sabi ko na, kung before umalis si Aileen, kailangan ma-interview ko na. Kasi nasa listahan ko na man ikaw. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Aileen. That's Miss Mutiana Pilipinas, Asia Pacific International 2017 and Miss Asia Pacific International 2017 for runner-up. Our pride, Aileen Astrid Rivera. Oh, maraming salamat din, Derek. I'm so happy to be able to you know, join this interview with you. And yeah, it's so good to see you again and talk to you. Kahit sa Zoom na lang, no? Kahit sa Zoom na lang.